Hi guys. Well, the other day I was pouring a dish and I had a whole bunch of leftover resin. So I poured this domino mold, which I don't actually use for dominoes. I use it for a um, word stand. So we're going to do the letters that go in this today. So I've got to try to match the colors, which is going to be interesting, and then pour the right letters. And I know I've told you before that I sometimes don't know what I'm doing until I'm actually here and doing it, but today I think I'm going to make the word dream. I'm going to be adding some holographic fine glitter and some pearl pigment and then we'll be adding our alcohol inks. That's what I did when I made this. And then I also used some white, like a sinker ink. And it turned out really cool. I really like it. I never want to waste leftover resin. So I always have something handy nearby to pour it off into and use it up. So that's how I ended up with this uh, domino mold for the start of this project today. It was just left over from uh, actually the dish project that we did the other day. And I had a lot left over. That's how a lot of my projects start off is just with whatever I was doing last time. Okay, and what did I say we're gonna make? I think I said dream. And now I have to actually get them in the right order. Because this was supposed to be a rainbow. And it did not end up being a rainbow. But that's okay. You know, I start off with one intent and I end up with something totally different. And it's usually very nice. Okay. I'm going to pour off some into each of these cups. So now I'm just going to scooch this down a little bit and put this right here. And I'm going to do the first letter in the red. That'll be our D. And there we go. There's all our letters. And I'm not going to do anything else to them. I'm just going to let them cure. Oh, I am going to spray some alcohol on them. And get those pesky little air bubbles out. And there we go. That's all we're gonna do. And then tomorrow, we'll demold this, we'll put our light strip in here, and we'll put it all together with some UV resin. So that's it for now, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Well, hi everybody. We are back, and we are going to finish up our dream. So we're just gonna pop our letters out of the mold. and get this put together. So 
So there's our letters. They're nice and glittery. We'll get the mold out of the way. And then they're going to go in this domino stand. And we've got what was labeled as a sewing machine light, but it will definitely work well for our purposes, especially since it is trimmable for the length that we want. So as long as you trim where on the cut lines, it has several cut lines. So as long as we trim on the cut lines, we're good. So we're going to trim it right there. And it just cuts really easy with a pair of scissors. And unfortunately, there's nothing that I know of that you can do with that. That just becomes garbage. And then this is going to sit right in here. And I'm going to make sure it works before we use it. So it just has a USB plug. Yep, they work. Good. And then I'm just going to use it a couple drops of UV resin to hold it in place. I've got my UV lamp right here. So I'll just put a few drops here. Well, maybe I'll make a little line there. How's that? Put the lid back on it. Put it right side up. That would be good. I probably should have my gloves on for this. But I wasn't thinking. I'm kind of distracted today. Okay, got it placed where I want it, and I'm just going to stick this up there. And then I'm just going to make sure again that my lights still work. Very cool. Okay, and I gotta think about where I want my letters, what the spacing. That looks pretty good. So I think I'll start with the E. And I will just use a few drops this time and not go so heavy. I would like to get one of those little UV flashlights, but they are amazingly expensive. I think the last time I looked, they were about $30. I wish the light strip did not have a white backing. I wish that it was just any other neutral color, but a little bit darker so that it didn't stand out so much. But if it's up on a shelf, you're not going to see it because it sits down behind the lip of this. So now let's turn off all my other lights and see what it looks like. And there we go. That is very pretty. And we could make any word that we wanted out of this. We could say peace or family or your name or just about anything you want as long as it fits in this little form. 
but it's very cool. It puts the light up through the letters. It looks even neater in the dark. I love the way all the glitter shows. And it's just very, very cool. I love the versatility of being able to do whatever you want with it. So there you go. That's our project for today. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And join me next week for something fun and creative. Bye-bye for now.